So this is a review of my uh, center stand modification. It could be one of the only modifications like this in the world. So this is a new 1250. I've had a problem riding these bikes off-road the way they're designed to do because the center stand limits my riding ability. I'm from the motocross enduro world where I've learned to ride up aggressively on the front of my boot to pivot and to have extra stability, uh, balance, and also to have the ability to rock back on the pegs. Now BMW, the issue is BMW has created this bike to ride on the arch. And a lot of people get upset with me like, what do you mean BMW wants us to ride on our arches? I don't think they want us to ride on our arches, but they've prevented us from riding aggressively on the balls of our feet by placing the center stand level le uh, lever on a large boot in the way. So you can see when I try and ride my bike, my boot is, is fighting this thing. I can't pivot very easily. Um, I can get locked in place, which I've, I've dropped the bike when I first started riding these about a decade ago, just from being locked in and not being able to control it. Some guys don't have a problem. If you ride arch of your foot, you're good. If you ride on an extreme pigeon toe, you're good. I can't control my bike in a pigeon toe like this. If you can, that's great. Um, but I, I, need, I need flexibility. So what I've done is brand new bike, new boot, new gear. I wanted to get everything perfect. So I decided I'm just going to get rid of this lever. It's making me crazy. So what I did is I cut it off. Just cut the whole lever off. This area here. I reinforced it, drilled some holes through it, and basically I have this removable arm that I carry in my luggage, and I welded two channels on here, or two pieces of plate steel that this slips into real loosely, and I pull it out when I want to put the bike on the center stand, pop it in there like that, and I just pin it. I just pin it with uh, with two bolts, not a big deal. I mean, take. 20 seconds right there, boom. Now I can put my bike on the stand. Let me show you what that looks like. Pop this up here. No nuts needed on this thing, it works just great. So there it is on the stand. When I'm done, I want to ride and I don't want any trouble. Looks like I have loose bar ends on here. I just pop these little bolts out down here, no big deal. Boom, this thing comes off, and I've got a nice clean center stand with no trouble. Now I get my boot. I've also taken the pegs off, because uh, the passenger pegs, because they're on my way too. Now I can ride on the balls of my foot. I, own, I can pivot around. I own the space on the bike. Now I can really ride this thing off-road like it was meant to be done. And the difference here is, is phenomenal. I'm... I'm a good off-road rider, but I suck with a center stand. With it off, I get my riding ability back. So that's that. Um, let's see how it looks again. Popping it off the stand. There it is again, completely out of the way. That's my upgrade. Um, pretty easy to do. I've got a lot of metal sitting around, a lot of metal working material. A um, couple other tips. Uh, if you want to know how to put the spring back on, I've got a trick because the spring right here on the center stand is a real pain in the neck to get on. Um, and any tricks um, getting it on the center stand, uh, pretty easy thing to do once you get the technique. But I like having it on there. I like all this space. I'm very happy. A lot of people won't need this, but it's just an idea I wanted to share that, you know, if anybody wants to do it, it's quite easy. And now I've got like pretty cool bikes.